What's up everyone? Coming here with another tutorial. And by now I'm sure everybody knows streamer bot 1.5 dropped. So with that, we got new features and we got a very special add-in first inline function, which is math. So I decided that we were gonna test this math and really push it to its limits. And we created the hydrate redeem. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to install this, set up the OBS scene for it, and break down how it animates and calculates all through the map. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to download the zip file. I'll link that below. It'll be on my coffee page. And just so everybody is aware, everything on that coffee page is completely free. Um, if I don't do a tutorial video for something, it still will go on the coffee page for uh, any of the alerts and stuff that I do. And those are all free to download and available for anybody. But after you download the Hydrate Redeem, we're going to just unzip it and then extract it to wherever you want to. And obviously you're gonna see these files right here. You'll have a folder for browser sources. This is gonna be your animation. Then you'll have a JSON file, the actual import file. And then of course, the thing that I'm sure you all read, the README. And this will break down exactly what commands you need to make and how to create the channel point reward. But we're gonna do that in this video now. So we're gonna go and we're first gonna do the import. So we're gonna open up the hydrate redeem text and we're gonna copy this code. All this good fun gibberish. We can close that out. Pull up streamer bot. Then we're gonna right click and import. And then we're just gonna paste this into the import string. And you wanna just make sure that there's no trailing spaces. Otherwise you will not see the importable actions down here. And we're gonna click import. And you should see the hydrate redeem a total of four different actions. All right, so first we're gonna want to go up, if looking at the readme, we're gonna want to create a channel point reward called hydrate. And we're gonna set the action to hydrate. So to do that, I'm gonna go in, pull up streamer bot, go to channel point rewards, and I'm gonna hit add. We're gonna call this hydrate. I think most people set this at like 500, so that's what we'll do. Prompt will remind streamer to hydrate. And then, you know, water's kind of blue, so why not go with the blue color? <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess it depends on where you live, too. <laughs> so we're gonna go select action. And then we're going to point that to hydrate and then we're going to say, okay. And then we're going to create a command called hydrate total. So we're going to go into commands, we're going to call it hydrate total. You can name that group whatever I like to keep all my chat commands in a chat commands group you can set this to exact and then we're gonna select the action hydrate total you can set a cooldown choose a cooldown action if you want to 
and then we'll hit OK. Now we're going to come down and set a hydrate reset. So we'll go back in the stream of bot. I'm going to say hydrate reset. I can spell. Then we can set this to exact as well. We'll put this mod commands as the group. Select the action. Hydrate reset. Put a cooldown on it. And we'll make this only available to mods. Because we want mods to be the only ones that can reset this total. And then we'll say OK. And then we're going to go create a command and this is basically an initial setup command um, but we're gonna go into streamer bot and we're gonna say set hydrate put that under mod commands select hydrate settings and we can do a cooldown as well make sure that's only for mods then hit ok and then we can save and that's pretty much it for the setup also one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that in the hydrate redeem action itself the hydrate you're going to want to go through and make sure that these source visibilities and GDI Texas texts are pointing to the correct OBS scene and source for this to work. So as long as those are pointing correctly, then this should do all the animation automatically. All right, let's now look at installing the scene. So you want to make sure you have source copy. And then we're going to load scene. And then you're going to select where that JSON file is located. We're going to load hydrate redeem JSON. And that should import the hydrate redeem. Now, one thing to note is for these two right here, the browser source, both browser sources, you're going to want to make sure that they are pointing to the correct local file path and as long as they're pointing to the correct local file path which should be wherever you put that browser source folder so mine would be in my stream resources fill a container with water then the glass empty, glass fill. You just select the index.html file. And just make sure those are correct. So after you do that, you'll be able to see the GA2 GDI text, the glass filling animation, and the glass emptying animation. So now we can put all this together and check out how it works when we trigger it with StreamerBot. So first off, we're going to want to come over here. And we're going to want to set hydrate. And then you're going to want to put in the number of ounces of water that you're going to want to drink or whatever other option that you may want to choose. So I'll just do default like eight ounces 
and then I'm gonna type out water because I'm gonna hydrate with water, but some people like bio out there might wanna change that to beer, so we gave them the option. So you're gonna set that, and then you're gonna see that it has allowed you to set the total ounces to eight and the drink type to water. So now when somebody comes down and redeems your new hydrate command, you click this, redeem it. And then as you'll see, it's telling me that somebody in chat thinks I need more water. It'll animate up to the total number of ounces that you had set and fill up the glass of water. And then it'll count down and animate it empty. So doing that animation will happen every time that somebody hits the hydrate redeem. And I, hope I accounted for a delay to make sure it counted up and down correctly and to give the broadcaster enough time to notice the command and consume the water. So now we're going to come over and we're going to type hydrate total. And then you'll see that it's been keeping track of the amount of water that's been consumed. So, so far it says that I've had 16 ounces of water. And we split this up into gallons, liters, and ounces. But obviously you can change that, but you'll have to alter the math in it. Or all the formatting and calculations. So if we do this again, we get the animation on screen. And after it gets done animating, we'll see that it says that consumed eight more ounces of water. So we'll go back and type hydrate total again. And as you can see, it added eight more. Now, let's say you want to reset this in the middle of stream. Your mods can use re hydrate reset. And then it'll reset the total. So if you do hydrate total again, it'll go back to zero gallons, zero liters, and zero ounces. All right, so let's take a look at some of the functions behind this. So in hydrate settings, you'll see that we're setting the global ounces to the value of input zero and setting the global drink to the value of input one, which allows you to change whether it's water or something else that you want to put in and the amount of ounces that you are um, setting your drink size as. And then we go into the hydrate reset and you can see where we're setting the temp global total ounces to zero. This way, this it's being a temp global variable allows it to reset after every stream. So you don't have to manually reset it. But this is just a temporary if you wanna reset it in the middle of stream. So we'll go to hydrate and we basically get in the global ounces, the global drink variables, and then we're getting the temple or it's, ugh, temp global ounces to total ounces. And then we basically start with all the math in all the arguments here. And we convert the total ounces over in math to the ounces arg and we use this all the way through here 
So basically we are taking one variable and using it to do all the math to calculate your total number of ounces and split it, format it, and animate it. And you can go through and see how that's done in each one of these. And it's the same for both the count up and the count down. And then it'll send the, the message and it'll set the global ounces to the new calculation of however many ounces you have set. I hope everybody enjoys the new math functions. Big shout out to Nate for throwing those in there. I know that just addition and subtraction, maybe division and multiplication was asked, but he definitely went above and beyond with this. And big shout out to Farless and Webmage and TD as we sat through in uh, stream trying to figure this stuff out to make sure that we could bring a fully functional automated hydrate redeem that was based solely on the math functions so everybody could see exactly what you could do with them and how they work. Um, if you like this video, then hit the like button down below. I appreciate it. Um, I stream on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Fridays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time over on Twitch. The link is down below. We, uh, we do stuff like this all the time. We have a blast doing it. Thank you all for checking this out. I hope you get some use out of it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them. Or you can always find me in the StreamerBot Discord. And until next time.